If this channel is good for anything, maybe it's um, not just photography, but getting a little bit more out of our discussion. So I'm gonna say uh, this video is about regret. All right, uh, just making sure my car is locked and we're gonna talk about this lens, the 56 f1.2 from fuji and i'm losing light so we're going to do this very very quickly now this lens uh, this lens is great it's for portraits it's a 85 uh, full frame equivalent and um, i bought it and i spent like a thousand dollars on it and the question is was that a mistake and so i'm going to talk about why I think this lens maybe is on its way out for me and I will just share that with you very briefly and then we will hopefully not lose all the light and I'll show you some samples but here's what I'm thinking one not a portrait photographer uh, so spending thousand dollars on a portrait lens not the best idea two um, I don't really like the focal length probably because I'm not a portrait photographer and spending a thousand dollars on a lens that is a focal length I don't really enjoy not the smartest idea now why did I do this I I did this because I just you know gear gear acquisition syndrome just gear acquisition syndrome GAS I wanted the best and the brightest that Fuji had to offer, honestly, and that's that's why I spent a thousand dollars on this lens. However, um, I haven't really used it, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to commit to do three portrait sessions. I'm going to do a session with the Viltrox 56 uh, 1.4 as a comparison, and so that is I am losing light here, so let's stay under the street light here. Uh, so I'm going to commit to doing three portrait sessions, and I'm going to report back. Cause this is a big deal. I'm gonna lose some money on it. I spent like a thousand. So if I can get 500 to 700, that would be probably as good as I could expect. And so we are gonna see how that shakes out, but it wouldn't be right for me just to, to sell it. I haven't even really used it that much. Uh, I took some pictures of my dogs today. It's probably the, the best use I've had out of it. Um, Honestly, when I first got it, I had some autofocus issues and I wasn't really happy with how it performed. Had it like at a community event. I'll see if I can dig up those, those pictures. But I really, really, really um, just kind of had a bad taste in my mouth with it. And that was probably not fair. Definitely was not fair. So yeah, my recommendation, I, I think <laughs> if this channel is good for anything, maybe it's um, not just photography, but getting a little bit more out of our discussion. So I'm gonna say uh, this video is about regret. I regret spending that much uh, on a lens that I didn't really have a good use case for. I didn't have an extra thousand dollars lying around. And so um, what do you do after you do something that you regret? So I think I'm gonna try to make things right. So I'm going to, use the lens in three videos yeah i'll do three videos a series of three videos with the f 56 f 1.2 i'll get together three portrait sessions um and then i will i'll just see if the lens is worth keeping i kind of like these lights right here it's kind of kind of cool cool vibe and uh it's beautiful i don't know if you can see the uh, mountains way back there but uh it's got kind of gorgeous uh Oh, interesting saying right there, learn by doing. Quite topical. So I'm learning by buying lenses that I can't afford or don't have a good use case for. So anyways, we are coming back here to my car and uh, <laughs> this is actually an interesting case here because this car, oh, it's so far away on the 13 millimeter. This car is one that I have truly enjoyed. I love it. And uh, I got rid of my BMW and I bought a Jeep. And I have loved every minute of it. So I'm gonna take a few shots of the Jeep with the 56. Oh, there's motion light there. It kind of ruined, I like the 
the look of the Jeep without that. So I'm gonna to try to wait for that to go off and take a few pictures with the 56 mil. Run the place, run the space. I run the scene that lights up your face. I run the place, I run the space. I run the scene. So if you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button and ring that bell and you'll stay in the loop updated with the latest videos and latest content that's coming out. This is more with West Photo. In the next video, I'm gonna do a comparison of the Viltrox 56 to the Fuji 56. And so stay tuned for that. Peace out.